Welcome to Chapter 7, Ionic Equilibria, Titration. Now I will focus specially only on half equivalence points. Now for half equivalence point, it is the concentration of an added base equals to half of the concentra original concentration of the acid. The half equivalence point is also known as midpoint of titration. Okay, so the half equivalence point occurs at one half of the volume of the equivalence point. Okay, meaning that if let's say to reach equivalence point, you need 50 ml, then half equivalence point will be 25 ml. So this one will be the half equivalence point, half of the original. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Okay, in our example, we have same mol molarity for both strong acid and strong base. Okay, then the volume of acid is 25. So for the half equivalence point, it will happen at occurs at one half of the volume of equivalence point. Okay, so equivalence point means that acid and base completely react. So it means 25 ml of acid will completely react. So if half of at half point, uh, midpoint or half equivalence point means that half of 25 ml so we will get 12.5 ml when half equivalence at half equivalence point okay so now how much NaOH is added need, need, needed to titrate with acid in order to reach half equivalence point okay so let us turn it into more for easier calculation so we have we calculate for acid first. Now we know that acid is 0 0.1 molar and at half equivalence point, okay, remember it's half equivalence point, volume is 12.5. Okay, so if the mole at half equivalence point will be MV over 1000. So when MV over 1000, we will get 0 0.00125 mole. Okay, so remember for NaOH, okay, it will also equal to the same number of mole of hydrochloric acid because of stoichiometric. So this one will be 0 0.00125 mole. Okay, why is it that we said that it will have equivalent mole? Okay, remember this one we have HCl, this one we have NaOH. Okay, so at half equivalence point, okay, at half equivalent point, 12.5 ml of 0 0.1 molar of HCl has been reacted. Okay. So at this point, so we will also add in 12.5 ml. Okay, so we will get the same number of mole. So how much sodium hydroxide has been added? Okay, so mole equals to mv over 1000. And then our mole is 0 0.0125. Molarity is the same, 0 0.10 for base. Okay, so we find the volume. Okay, so eventually we know that the volume of sodium hydroxide is also equals to 12.5 ml added. Okay, at half equivalence point. Okay, now move on to another example. If let's say this time we have different molarity of sodium hydroxide. We have 0 0.2. So what are we going to do? Okay, it's the same thing. We look at what is in the analyte. The analyte is still HCl. So the half equivalence point refer to HCl, the volume, half of the volume of HCl. 
Okay, so half of the volume, just now we have mentioned it is 12.5 ml, and then the mole is equals to 0 0.00125, as we have calculated earlier. Okay, so now we put here, meaning that to reach equivalent, half equivalence point, the number of mole of sodium hydroxide is still the same. It also needs 0 0.00125. Okay, so now what we do is mole equals to mv over 1000, mole still the same, 0 0.00125. However, molarity, we are using the new concentration that is 0 0.2. Okay, so volume, we don't know how much, okay, over 1000. Okay, so now volume of sodium hydroxide equals to 6.25 ml means that when 6.25 ml is added to 25 ml of hydrochloric acid half equivalence point will be reached okay so when you do this remember for half equivalence point first find the half volume what is the half volume um half amount of volume of analytes Okay, then what you do is you calculate mole. Okay, after you calculate mole, look at the stoichiometry. Okay, this is analyte. This is the titrant. Okay, you calculate and then you do stoichiometry and then you find the number of mole for titrant at half equivalence points. Okay, after you find the number of mole of titrants at half equivalence point, then you use N equals to MV per 1000 in order to find out how much volume is added. Okay, now, let's look at the graph again. Okay, so remember, just now, we use this example where we have the same concentration. Okay, and then after we calculate, it is 12.5. Okay, so the half equivalence point, this is the volume of titrant added. So the half equivalence point is 12.5, and then at equivalence point, it is 25. So you must remember to label 25 and 12.5 for titration curve for strong acid and strong base. Okay, let's say I have, I use another info, okay, that is, for example, I use 0 0.2 concentration, okay, volume of NaOH will be 6.25, okay, meaning that, okay, meaning that I can no longer put the half equivalence point as 12.5. Okay, the half equivalence point will occur at 6.25. Okay, because the concentration is different. Okay, and of course, when the concentration is different, when the concentration is different, MAVA equals to MVVB. The half equivalence point will also be, the sorry, the equivalence point will also be different. Okay, 0 0.1 over uh, 0 0.1 times 25 ml for acid. The stoichiometric coefficient is still the same. And then this one is uh, 0 0.2 for strong base. Okay, so what is the volume in order to reach the equivalence point. So it is 0 0.1 times 25. Okay, so we will get 12.5. Okay, meaning that for this part is no longer 25. It will be 12.5. Means that our graph will look like this. Okay. So it is not necessary, okay, it, you have to be very careful to look at the concentration 
given for the titrant and also look at the stoichiometry. So remember, again, half equivalence point is half of the volume of the analyte. Okay, so that's all for half equivalence point.